Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming, and some of you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings. So y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Alright. <clears throat> no matter what you think, keep in mind that you may be held accountable for your actions by others or even yourself. Don't just do something because you think it's for the right reasons. Do it when you are aware of the possible consequences as well. You're right. I have no way of knowing what my actions here will amount to once I return. Do you really wish to go back to your own world? If I didn't, it, I would only serve to strain the relationship we've been trying to build with your people here, which is something that could be elementary for our survival. Besides, I didn't do it for those who reign over the city back home or those who might have wanted to betray me. Let's not forget that even under the worst regimes, there are just normal people trying to survive too. If I have the power to make a difference for them, would it be right for me to just leave them in their leave them be in order to seek my own happiness? That's exactly the kind of thing you were talking about, right? In the end, we all have to make our own decisions. If I leave them behind, then I then I'd leave them to people like Reza and those who sent me here. What would you want to do? Overthrow them? I don't even have the complete picture of myself right now. How could I even consider what to do, given what I know? What I do know, though, is that if is that if I don't do what they expect of me, there will be consequences. Maybe you'll just have to wait and see. It's not an option right now. Reza's still out there, armed and dangerous. Don't you think that's a matter better left to our police force? It could very it could be very dangerous for you to interfere. It's far too late to reconsider. I've already been tangled up in this too much. Besides, I can't stop now. Don't forget how many he has killed already. He won't hesitate to do so again in order to reach his goal. In the end, it's my duty to stop him. If I don't, how would your people look at humanity? How could I face you again, knowing that my negligence could cause suffering and loss for others here if I just stop now? I wish I could be brave as, as brave as you. I don't think bravery has anything to do with it. He must, have, he must be stopped one way or another. I know, just be careful, alright? I'll try. We've been here for a while now. How about I walk you back to your apartment? How about the festival? Well, if you still want to go, we could watch the big fireworks show together in a few days. That's an idea. Alright, let's do that. I watched Remy as he got up again, stretching himself in a way that reminded me of a cat before he prepared to leave again. Oh, you're still here. How's business? As expected, people always get hungry at these events eventually. Can I offer you some more meatballs? No thanks. I'm quite full for my earlier helping. How about you, Keegan? A tempting offer, but we're just about to call it a day. I see. Are you going to watch the big fireworks at the end of the festival? That's the plan. Be sure not to miss it. You haven't seen anything until you see the fireworks. That's what everyone keeps telling me. Because it's true. Anyway, we should probably get going. Have a good day, then. You too. Aww. And here we are again. Indeed. Did you want to clean out my bathroom cabinet as well or something? That's a good one. <laughs> he gave a big sigh. You know how I feel. I guess I just wanted to make the most of this day. Speaking of which, I've never actually seen you without your tie. Well, actually... Ha! <laughs> how about now? You're pretty cute, you know that? Is that just a term is that just a term of endearment or are you actually serious? I am serious. He looked at me, hesitating. Then he took a step forward, essentially moving closer to my own. Oh my. Yeah boy. Well he's so cute. Look at that face. Kiss him. Kiss him. We met, my arms enveloped his neck as our lips touched. For a few seconds we, for a few seconds we were closer than ever before. During the kiss he used a lot more tongue than I expected. Just after we parted, he finished by giving me a small lick on the cheek. How was that? Unique, that's for sure. Maybe I shouldn't wear the tie anymore if this is what happens when I take it off. Actually, I think you should keep it. Really? Yeah, it looks good on you. Well, if you say so. Anyway, it's getting really late, so I should probably get going now. Don't forget about the fireworks. Oh, for sure. I'll see you then. Until we meet again. Thank you for everything. Another free day. Yay, me! Let's see. Let's meet with Lorem. Actually, let's pause it first. Alright, y'all, give me a second. Shake time. Master shake time, anyway. Meet with Lorem. Heh. <laughs> 
There you are! Come in! Sure. Honestly, I can't believe you agreed to do this again. Don't mention it's my pleasure. Don't believe it either. It's my pleasure. Now that I've had a chance to work through everything from last time, we can do some real work. Sounds great. I did a staggering amount of research on mythical humans. Here, let me show you some of the stuff I found. Sure. We sat down at the coffee table. Lorm opened up a laptop and started to type away. Seeing the laptop brought back memories. In our world, they had become obsolete a long time ago. Before I show you these images, I should probably tell you that some of them are really weird. Just don't take them the wrong way. You already told me about the four-headed human, so I think I can handle this. All right. Oh, God. What the hell? Lizard people! What else we got? Oh. It's not very human to me. This one's supposed to be one of our ancestors. Ancestors? Well, it does remind me some of, remind me some of the dragons I've seen here, but I'm not sure what humans have to do with this. You remember the myth about our creator turning into a dragon, right? Yeah. Now, here's an interesting question. What species does that human turn into? There are a number of dragon species nowadays that aren't genetically compatible with each other. Did the human choose one of them? Do they perhaps procreate? A shared ancestor is one option. This would mean that the different species split after the human's involvement in our creation. If human DNA was involved in some way, this might explain how our different species came to be. Take a far ancestor of ours and apply various amounts of human DNA. The result would be a number of different species, each with a different amount of resemblance to humans. Interesting. Now, it has been said that an upright stance and being able to walk on two legs is a more human trait. Okay. In any case, it's one of the things that makes humans unique. As a result, some people believe that certain species share more traits with humans than others. They think that it makes them more noble or something. Luckily, that doesn't happen often. You can walk on two legs as well, right? Sure. In this theory of shared human DNA, this puts me somewhere in the middle, since I still have wings and horns. I can see that. Here, look at this one. What the fucking fuck is that? Is that a melting goblin? That is horrifying. What the hell? <laughs> not even a little? Maybe a little. I'm not sure he's a particularly friendly one, though. Actually, I think this is supposed to be a human female. Interesting. There's some that I don't think humans are friendly. There are some that don't think friendly humans are friendly at all, though. Really? So far, I've only heard positive things about us. Some interpretations of our myths don't exactly paint you in the best light. There are also people who oppose the idea of human worship and what their involvement has meant for us. In what way? They say that human, inter they say that human interference was unnatural and that we need to get back to our roots. And how do they think they can do that? Apparently it means refusing to use modern technology and living in caves or the wilderness again. Like an animal. One second, y'all. Shake time. Hmm. Delicious. Pretty much. Most of us think those people are crazy, though. Like the part for sure. I see. Heh. <laughs> They're harmless, really. You probably won't see one of them around here anyway. This is an interesting style, though. Do you know how those pictures were made? No, I'm sure the information was provided when I looked them up in the library, but I didn't copy all that. Are you using these as references? I make do with what I can get. Maybe now you can see why I wanted your help, though. Alright, what do you need me to do? I just want to make some quick sketches. You can stand over there by the wall. Okay, I can certainly do that. I walked up to the spot he indicated. When I took my place, I saw that he had laid out a number of pens, paper, and other art supplies on the table. Oh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? I'll try to be quick about it. Do you want me to strike a pose or something? A T-pose should be good to get started. Ah, T-pose for dominance. What's that? What's that? Just point your arm sideways so you look like a giant T. Oh, I get it. Raising my arms to the sides, I wondered how long this would take. Great, now try to stay as still as possible. Can I still talk? Sure, as long as you don't talk with your arms. As I wasn't allowed to move my head, I stared at Lorem, sketching my figure. This went on for a few minutes until I suddenly heard the sound of a door opening. Oh. Like, hmm, look at them thighs. <laughs> hey, Lorem. Oh, right. The human was going to visit today. 
I totally forgot about that. You don't mind if I take a seat, right? You just want to study Keegan. Like you aren't doing that right now. Besides, this room is, my, is, is mine as much as it is yours. I'll just watch and be quiet. I thought you had experiments to run. And they are running. I'd rather not be confined to my tiny room for the next two hours, staring at the ceiling and waiting for them to finish. But no experiments on Keegan. Yes, I'll just sit here and maybe take a few notes. I'm sorry, Keegan. This is my roommate and longtime best friend, Ipsum. Uh, nice to meet you, Ipsum. His scientific bluntness may be off-putting, so please bear with him. Uh, speak for yourself. So much for those two being best friends. Lorne returned to his drawing, silence only being interrupted by the strokes of his pen. By the way, have you seen my Ixaman Sphere recently? Didn't you take it with you when you went to the park the other day? Yes, I did. Well, that's the last time I saw it. I must have lost it then. I already searched the whole apartment. Did you go into my room? No. <laughs> Maybe someone found it. It had I had registered it in my name when I got it. So if anyone found it, it should show up sooner or later. I remember the sphere that I had found in the park. I dug into my pocket to show it to them. Wait, wait a minute. Are you talking about... Hey, no moving around! Quickly, I extended my arms again to make a perfect T-pose. Sorry, I just found something in the park recently that may or may not be your Ixman sphere. Where is it? Uh, probably in one of my pockets. At these words, Ipsum got up and walked over to me. So much for just sitting quietly in the corner and letting me work in peace. We're talking about a very expensive piece of equipment here. Just give it to him, Keegan. I searched my pockets and looked for the sphere to no avail. Huh, it's not here. So you don't have it after all. What kind of cruel joke are you playing here? I must have left it in my apartment. What a shame. I could fetch it after we're done with this. It would be better if you just handed it to the police. After all, we don't even know if it is my sphere that you found. Either way, the police should be able to verify it and locate its owner. All right. What is an Ixman sphere, anyway? It's just a glorified toy for grown-ups, really. You have no idea what you are talking about. An Ixman sphere is a very sophisticated tool with a countless number of uses. Like what? It can levitate and follow you around, take photos, you can even use it as a calculator. One second, y'all. It is indeed time for that shake. Hmm. Yeah. One of my roommates makes really good smoothies. I don't know why I've been calling it a shake. It's a fucking smoothie. Anyway. Making a glorif glorified toy for grown-ups. I use it for my experiments. Well, if they can take photos, I wouldn't need to stand around like this. That is, if we had it here now. It is a great companion for situations in life. It's much easier to draw from a live model than from a photo, though. Easier for you, maybe. I hope this doesn't take much longer, because my arms went numb a while ago. Yeah, I think you can relax for now. I'm nearly done with this one. A tingling sensation went up my arms as I relaxed. Slowly, I began to regain feeling in them. Alright, now turn around. I thought we were done already. Not unless we want our humans to lack, a, to lack a backside. So that's what this is all about. Ugh, you know what I mean! I know exactly what you mean. Isn't it my turn to draw you now? That's not how it works. I wouldn't mind getting a portrait of myself. I can already see it. The light shining from above, caressing my luscious mane. Highlighting each lock as they interplay. This is going to be a long day. It depends on how fast you are. As I was now facing the wall, I couldn't see what Lorm and Ipsum were doing. After a few seconds of silence, I heard some whispering coming from the couch. What are you talking about? I didn't want to be rude, but I was just curious about your vestments. He said, and I quote, This would be more interesting if it wasn't for those clothes Keegan is wearing. Okay. I'm just saying it would be hard to study an insect if there was a piece of cloth draped over it. Wearing that much just seems odd to me. If humans wear clothes like this, it's only appropriate to depict them as such. And my scientific curiosity shall remain unsatisfied. Because Keegan is not here to do that. We actually have a pretty big variety of vestments. I can tell you about it. Sounds good, but not right now. I have to finish this up first. Alright. So, Ipsum, I've heard a lot about experiments in science now, but what do you actually do? I work in the facility as a biologist with a minor in physics. In addition to the office, I also have my own setup here at home. I assure you, it's properly isolated from the rest of our apartment. It even has a fume, hu a fume hood to prevent accidents. But I only use it for the smallest of experiments, usually things unrelated to my job. Sounds interesting. 
Don't get him started or we won't hear the end of it. Maybe you would like to talk about your hobby instead, Lorem. Isn't this already a hobby? I guess you could say so. I was talking about his other hobby, though. Oh, that. I don't know, it's a little embarrassing to be honest. There's no need to be embarrassed about your hobbies. He likes flowers. What's even made a crown of out of daisies? Cutest thing in the world. Don't listen to him. As usual, he only tells half the story. What's the other half, then? I have an extensive love for botany. The fern he keeps in his room must be the happiest plant alive. I find gardening to be very relaxing, especially when the birds are singing in the morning. It's so nice to go out there with a nice cup of tea and work in the garden of our, of our apartment building. Which reminds me, Ipsum here has quite an extensive tea collection. Although I'm not sure if he prefers to hoard tea or gadgets. It's a mystery. I heard he was going... I heard there was going to be a model of the X-Men Sphere that can actually make tea. That's going to be a must-buy. Can also make... Can also... Can it also make cups, or are you supposed to sip it out of the Sphere itself? Alright, guys and gals, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for tip if you can. It always helps. Till the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!